Good morning. My name is Cheryl Woodard and I'm one of the meditation teachers here at Ecumenical Buddhist Society of Little Rock. I am uh, doing a series, of, this summer I'm doing a series of uh, guided tips and instruction, meditation ideas for busy people when you don't have a lot of time. And, you know, ideally we are all sitting in meditation, practicing meditation regularly at home, maybe 20 or 30 minutes every day. But even when you're doing that, things can happen. So for example, you get up from your cushion after a nice meditation practice and you feel all mellow and you open the door and you find that the dog ate your new shoes or the computer ate your homework or there's an email and a dear friend broke an important promise something like that and the immediate reaction is strong and powerful and uh, overwhelming and so Pema Chodron offers a practice that she calls pause practice and uh, it's just taking three conscious breaths so why just breathe well it's really hard to let go of a strong emotion especially when it's immediate and fresh you're not going to be able to talk yourself out of it you're not going to be able to conjure up a happier state of mind oh never mind it doesn't matter no you're really in the grip of something and the best you can hope for is to poke a hole in it and let the air out like a nail in a tire it's just going to break just break the flow of that energy and allow something else to happen so practice this we're going to do it right now but i encourage you to practice this uh pause idea this three conscious breaths idea practice it regularly when you're not in distress so that it's something that'll come to you quickly when you are make it a habit and then it'll be there when you need it so uh here's how we do it you sit up straight you know you just read the email or found what the dog did you sit up straight stand up straight if you have to walk to a quiet spot place the hands your hands on the base of your belly and breathe deeply into breathe into your hands basically breathe, draw the air deeply into your body and then uh, let the air out and you can kind of sigh as the air leaves you draw it in deeply breathe out and as you're breathing in really focus your attention on the breath try to feel actually feel the air entering your body filling your lungs filling your belly reaching your hands actually feel focus on the breath as if it was the most important thing in the world and then as you breathe out see the breath carrying away the rage the anxiety whatever the feeling is let it flow out with the breath so three times and then you can just stop you don't have to do any more than that you can just move on and um, allow that allow something different to happen than what you usually do and in fact this is the power of this practice because usually we're stuck in habit if your dog frequently chews your shoes you yell it you're yelling at your dog there's some kind of endless circle going on between you and that triggers the instant rage that you feel when oh no she did it again so if you just do the pause practice 
at least you haven't done that typical thing. You haven't yelled at your dog. You haven't broken your computer, thrown it on the floor in a rage. You haven't said something awful to your friend. You have just made space. You have just connected with fresh air. And that means all kinds of other possibilities are available to you right then. You can do anything else but the usual stuff. And it's the usual stuff that gets us in trouble, that causes all of our suffering, really. And so making this habit of breaking the flow, stopping the flow of that usual cyclical inner reaction, you know, triggered feeling, just break that. Then you begin to become a different person. Really, everything can change in your life. So, remember the Buddhist notion that we already have within us everything we need. We're perfectly calm, perfectly loving, perfectly patient and compassionate with each other. All those qualities are quiet, though, and they don't have a chance to arise if we're always filled with feelings, strong emotion. So this pause practice gives you a chance to allow those deeper, quieter parts of yourself manifest, rise to the surface. She calls it pause practice. Pema Chodron calls it pause practice. And it's about creating a gap or an opening in the normal flow of things, like opening a window in a stuffy room or poking a hole in a bubble. You can do it any time. And uh, in, the, in, the, in the heat of a moment or even when you're not upset. So please give it a try. I hope this is helpful to you. And uh, stay safe and, and well this and cool. Don't get too hot this summer. Thank you.